Hello, Senior Stoner fan. Just the real Senior Stoner back at you. Today is Friday. And what I decided to do is come on about a product instead of about myself. This is going to be about the Carta E-Rig by Focus V Products. And what I want to discuss with everybody are a variety of things. And it's based on, frankly, the fact that I own two of them, have used them extensively, have use them in comparison with others, which I'm not going to name directly, and have a really pretty good knowledge of how to work it. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an engineer, I'm not an electrician, but I've become comfortable with the unit, so let's go. First, I want to talk about its appearance. The appearance of the unit is pretty cool, actually, especially with the helix glass that is a vortex inside. What a vortex means is it has a carb, cap, a carb hole up top and that glass makes it so that it'll swirl. Not just bubble. Cools it more. The other thing that I like about this is the way they designed it. It is simple, but kind of elegant in the sense that what it's designed for, tabletop use, and it's pleasant to look at, I think the atomizer is exposed nicely so you know not to touch it when it gets hot. The carb cap is tiny enough and I happen to have it uh, with a, give them credit, a Puffco Peak travel pack tether. I do recommend that Focus V add a tether. It wouldn't be that much more money and uh, they could keep their price point of $250 MSRP and offer a really good thing. They do offer a nice travel case with it, but I think the tether would be more useful on a daily basis. You don't want to lose or crack your uh, or break your carb cap. So I think from an appearance standpoint, they've done a real nice job. It's simple. Let's talk about what it does. Well, first of all, there are four temperatures. The lights also can tell you the battery left in the unit. It has a standard USB-S configuration for charging and it charges pretty quickly. Um, the way it connects is the glass hole lines up with the hole in the electronic base. If it's not right on, it's okay because there's a sleeve inside. And there you go. So that takes care of really getting started. Screw your atomizer on, make sure it's nice and snug, put your wax of choice in. Ours today is the Slam Pig Extracts, Cinderella 99 Live Hybrid Diamonds. These are the blonde guys inside here right now. So let's see what it does on Two. One click turns it on after a five click. So your five click is the master on, and then one click to your desired temperature. It's the instant on that impresses me with this. It's on already. Forgot to put the carb cap on. Look like we're doing the dab train. Wow, you can see the cloud, but it's very, very flavorful as well. In addition to being cloudy, in addition to being cloudy, it's flavorful. And I think the most important thing that you want uh, is if you're a cloud chaser, you want to have this look like a cotton ball when it's full, which it did. And if you're a flavor hound, you want to be able to Taste it like you're having a cigar, that flavor that you're looking for. I like both, and this has both. The instant on, like within a second or two, really impresses me. I'm really impressed with how quick it heats up. And it stays on for a nice long time. So that's the performance of the unit. Let's talk about the charge. Once you've charged it, how many hits do you get? Well, what if you do it on four lights what if you do on one light so i think there's a gradient i mean let's say it's anywhere between 30 and 15 depending on your temperature you use it at i think it's really really 
functional in the sense that I'm not handy, but yet I can put it down on a table and it's not breaking. Okay? So it's well made structurally to do that. I think it's something that you have to consider. How does the atomizer perform? How is the maintenance going to be involved with something like this? Do you need to clean it often? So let's talk about that. Probably use a 420 solution, 710 solution on the top, just like you would any other glass piece. I want to think that you make sure, and I've had some issues before, but they fixed them with the little hole with Reclaim and the bottom of the base with Reclaim. If you're not having an issue with it, don't worry about it, certainly. As far as the atomizer, healthy atomizer is an atomizer that will last longer. What you want to do is you want to take a swab on the inside and you want to use a swab on the lip of the atomizer. Also clean your carb cap when you're finished because what you'll find, <coughs> pardon me, is that in the morning, if you don't, the carb cap will stick to the atomizer and you won't be able to get it apart and you'll be very unhappy. But let's go further <coughs> long term. This is not the unit that I have owned the longest. This is the unit I've owned, owned the second least amount of time. But I use it more frequently than any other unit. Why? Because it covers a fuller spectrum for me. I don't like lining up all my units over here anymore. You can see there's not a whole lot over here compared to what used to be. So I don't do that anymore. I have the studio now. I keep things up there, and because of that, and I don't travel up and down 10 times a day, I have to select, I have to choose what horse to ride, let's say. So these guys have really impressed me, and they've impressed me a couple of different ways. First, certainly with the product. At $250, they're 40% less than the other guys. How do they do that? Not expensive products, it's plastic, okay? That's okay. Rechargeable battery, replaceable. You buy them. Not like having that big unit, 3,000 month battery inside. So they really found a way to do the same job at a lower cost. But it's not a knockoff. Because what they did is they found a marketing slice, a sliver, I'll call it, of the population interested in rigs that wanted this price point that might not have a whole lot of money they want to spend on a rig and could afford this one, afford just one. And this would be the one because it was the lowest price. Now, does the rubber meet the road? Absolutely. Cloud Chaser or Flavor Hound? It hits both. Why can they do this for $250? Here's why. Who is Focus V Products? No offense to them. I like them. Who are they? We don't see them advertised. They're not advertised in the Facebook pages. They're not advertised on any of the uh, internal clubs on weed maps. They're not advertised like that, okay? Guess why? Because they're the house brand. They are, I don't wanna call it the generic, but they are the house brand that doesn't have the advertising, the overhead and other things we call it S G V and A built into it. Think of mattresses, Sealy, Serta, Simmons, etc. Those are the ones you know, and you know them for a reason, okay? But yet you walk in, you might find a bed that you never even heard of that's more comfortable. At a better price. Hello, this is it. The Carta by Focus V Products, who we never heard of before. They have struck the chord. And that's all you have to do, okay, is strike the chord. Because I'm going to give you just one example in the furniture industry of something that struck the chord many years ago on infomercials. The Space Age mattress from NASA with the handprint. And now it's called you know what, okay? All I'm saying is these guys could catapult themselves ahead of everybody else if they release other products. What they have to do is not be a one horse town. You know what I'm saying? A one trick pony. They have to go further 
and they have to find not just better glass, because this is a step-up glass. The regular height glass we know is only about this high that comes with it. The helix is bigger. But they have to get a better unit, a different unit, okay, and have a reason to buy it. That's how you do the business of marketing and you give better features, advantages, and benefits. It just can't be smoke and mirrors. So when the rubber meets the road, who I want is I want the product that doesn't have a lot of household recognition. I want the product that has the features, advantages, and benefits that I'm looking for at the price I can afford. Well, Carta E-Rig does that. So I stand saying for the first time that I like this product and use it more often now than others. I use others when I make comparisons and things like that, but I gotta tell you, this has pulled the head of the pack. Hats off to them, and I hope I gave a good informational video as to why I think that's happened and what I think the unit has to offer. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.